Scotland's seas and coasts are home to an amazing range of marine species and habitats. From the sheltered sea lochs to the open waters, from seagrass beds to rocky reefs and underwater sea mounds. Not only do such diverse habitats support thriving populations of marine mammals like dolphins, porpoises, whales and seals, but they are also home to vast numbers of seabirds, fish and other spectacular marine wildlife like seahorses, sponges and deep water corals. The marine environment also supports a number of human activities, many of which have an economic value and are growing in importance such as wildlife tourism and the development of important marine renewable infrastructures. With a greater understanding of this biologically diverse environment and the increased pressures from ocean acidification, emerging technologies and climate change, what kind of state are our seas in now and how can we look after them? Scotland's Marine Atlas takes you on a colourful journey of our marine environment and the ongoing scientific monitoring of our seas and looks at what the future might hold for them. The sea acts as a sink for virtually all of the substances that enter our rivers and watercourses. It also absorbs chemical contaminants from the atmosphere, many of which do not originate in Scotland, and our proud maritime and industrial past has left a legacy of contaminants in sediments. But a clean and safe sea isn't just about chemicals in the water, it's also about chemicals in plants and animals, increased silt, marine litter and noise from man-made sources. All of these can affect animal and plant life. Local contamination of seas and estuaries has been significantly reduced in the last 30 years through improved management, better regulation and a growing awareness of how important seas are to our current and future prosperity. Scottish marine waters are of high quality, but we all have a responsibility to consider how we use them and think about what we're adding to the seas so we can continue to manage and minimise our impact so that seas are clean and safe for generations to come. Scotland's seas contain a spectacular and diverse range of habitats and species. With more than 6,500 marine plants and animals, it is a highly complex and dynamic environment. Scotland's seas are home to internationally important populations of seabirds too and a number of European protected species. Factors such as tides and currents influence the kind of animals and plants found in Scotland. It is little surprise that our mix of sheltered sea lochs, exposed rocky coastlines, long sweeping sandy bays and large estuaries and firths mean that changes in species present in our water are being recorded. While most of the new species being found will enhance the biological diversity of our seas, other invasive species are less welcome. Some unfamiliar species have come to our waters as a result of being introduced by human activity and have quickly spread. Global climate change too is affecting the distribution of some native marine species. This means that ultimately some species may become extinct in Scottish waters whilst others more adaptable to warmer water move in. It is vital that we all work to ensure the long-term health of the marine ecosystem and maintain the ecological balance. We know this will be challenging, but it is necessary if we want to protect, restore and enhance our marine environment and hand on the legacy of a rich, diverse and productive environment. The seas around Scotland support a wide range of human activity, much of which are vital to the economic well-being of coastal communities, creating jobs and wealth. Some of these uses, such as shipping and fishing, have been ongoing for centuries, whilst others, such as aquaculture and wildlife tourism, have developed more recently. The sea also has the potential to power our nation, 
Oil and gas in the North Sea is the single most viable marine industry, and there is significant potential for development of offshore wind and marine renewables. We all want to use the seas sustainably, in a way which means that the natural resources will be renewed and available for future generations. To do this, ongoing monitoring and research is required to balance the direct and tangible benefits with the potential impact on Scotland's unique and special marine environment. Scotland's Marine Atlas presents a range of detailed maps they will be used to help inform the decisions made under the new marine planning framework to ensure that a desire to maximise the financial benefits we all receive does not come at a destructive cost. We've all heard about climate change, but what does it mean for our seas and the way we manage them now and in the future? It is very difficult to pinpoint exactly what is being caused by climate change. Scientists have been monitoring the sea for many years and change is inevitable within such a dynamic natural environment. There is evidence to suggest, however, that some of the things that are happening now seem more clearly to be related to climate change than ever before. Issues such as increasing seawater temperatures, rising sea levels, changes to underwater plant life populations and declining numbers of seabirds are all affected. And climate change will affect the marine environment and the interactions of marine ecosystems. The availability of food for marine top predators such as seabirds, mammals and some fish is likely to change and this will affect their population numbers. Predicting the impact of climate change on our seas is a real challenge. We all want biologically diverse and productive marine and coastal environments which are clean, safe, healthy and managed to meet the long-term needs of people and nature. And overall, Scotland's seas are generally in a good state. We need to protect them and safeguard the ecosystems and natural assets they support as the basis for increasing productivity and sustainable economic growth. We have a duty to do what we can to look after our seas and through marine planning we will look to address information gaps, agree and set goals for the future state of the seas and manage activities in a way which looks at the overall impact on our natural resources. Scotland's Marine Atlas is an important step on our journey, identifying what our priorities should be for the future and how we can look after this precious environment.